Hello fellow bass players, Steve Kim here in Seattle and I hope this finds everyone hanging in there. Today I want to talk a little bit about resultant rhythms. And at their most basic, resultant rhythms are a third rhythm that results from two other rhythms being played. The idea is then the result is a third rhythm that is a composite of the first two. Resultant rhythms can really occur between any number of rhythms, so they're not just limited to two. The aspect of resultant rhythms that we really want to focus on is the interlocking nature, or for short, the lock. And when we say that, we imply that there's a conversation and a relationship between those two rhythms. And those two rhythms are played by players, so uh, by extension, there's a relationship and a conversation between players. That is the lock we're talking about, and that is the groove. So to groove is to lock in. This idea of resultant rhythm occurs in many musical traditions the world over. And the one very close to us would be Western African musical thinking. Because it spawned three great musical traditions here in the Western Hemisphere. Afro-Brazilian, Afro-Cuban, and African-American music. And if we just focus on our own musical culture, which is greatly influenced by African-American music, we can see this idea demonstrated simply. So, if I take the metronome, and I'm going to put it at 60 beats per minute. So traditionally, we might think of this as 1, 2, 1, two, or one, two, three, four. Instead, I'm going to make these beats two and four. Two, four, two, four. So beat one, then, will be Now, that turns my rhythm and this rhythm into four beats. So 4-4 so four, four in this conception is beats 1 and 3 being answered by beats 2 and 4. The resultant rhythm then is four beats. This idea occurs a lot and uh, we can demonstrate this in a walking bass line and a lot of other kinds of bass lines. doesn't have to be jazz, it can be a lot of other ideas. Now if I make this tempo, we recognize these. to lock in. And when we lock in, and for us, the lock's going to be 1 and 3 versus 2 and 4. Now we don't have to play 2 and 4 any harder or accent them. We just have to conceive of 4-4 four, four 
being one, two, three, four. And uh, by the way, that's why a lot of tunes are counted off as one, two, one, two, three, four. So it's really ingrained in your musical experience already. Okay, everyone lock in and it's good being with you. I hope to see you next time. Until then, everyone take care.